find the coordinates of the points on the curve f of x is equal to x cube over 3 minus x squared minus 6x six, six plus 2 uh, where the gradient where where gradient is equal to 2. So you want to find uh, points or the coordinate of the points where the gradient is equal to 2. So let's write the function. So f of x is equal to x cubed over 3 minus x squared minus 6x plus 2. So the question is f dash x or the derivative is given to be 2. And we want to find x, or from x we can find y by putting uh, back in this equation. So these are the two things. You've got f, f of x and f dash x uh, is equal to 2 because the gradient is given to be 2. So let us first, f dash x is nothing but dy by dx. Okay, so f dash x or f prime x is dy by dx. So you can also say y is equal to f of x. In other words, this is a function in terms of x. So this is equal to, drop the power down, so that is 3x squared over 3, 3 is sitting already underneath, minus 2x minus 6. And this is 0, the gradient of this is 0. So we can say f dash x is equal to, so 3 and 3 gets cancelled, you've got x squared minus 2x minus 6. Now f of x is given to be 2. So in place of f of x or f dash x I can put 2. So let me change the color. So I can say 2 is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 6. Okay. I'm going to add take away 2 from both sides to make this a quadratic equation. So if you take away 2 from both sides you get 0 is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 8. So this is a simple quadratic equation. So I can say x squared minus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. So you can factorize this. So this is x minus 4 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. So we can say x is equal to 4 or x is equal to negative 2. So when x is 4 or x is negative 2, your gradient is, the gradient is 2. We'll confirm that. So, but the question is, we want to find the coordinates of the points. We only found x. We need to find y. So I'm going to use my calculator to get the y coordinate. So let me go back and type in the equation. Okay. So Okay, okay, so uh, let us, uh, let me delete this and type in the equation so I can give x, x cubed divided by 3 minus x squared minus 6x six six plus 2. Okay, my I know the points, I'll set my table from minus 5 to plus 5, okay. So this will also confirm whether our answer is right. Go to table. So uh, which were the points? You got minus 2. Yep. Yeah. At minus 2, it is 7 and 1 third. The gradient is, gradient is 2. And the next point was 4. So, so here this is minus 16, 2 thirds, and the gradient is 2. So this is, I have, what I have to do is, I have to go and change the, it has, the derivative has to be on, just type in the equation and go to table. I know at at 2, at x is negative 2, I have found the y value which is 7 and 1 third, and your gradient is 2, so that's confirmed. And when you go to 4, it is minus 16, 2 thirds. Okay, so we can say the coordinates are 14, sorry, y, y coordinate is seven and one thirds, seven and one third, and your y is uh, minus 16 and two thirds. Okay, so let us confirm this on a, in a different way. So let us, uh, let me go back and let me show you. 
um, go to graph to understand this graphically. So you already have the equation sitting there. Okay, and this is the, so I'll make the scale standard 10 by 10 and see the graph is like this. Okay, so G sol uh, Y calc when X is negative 2. Okay, so this, at this point your gradient is gradient is 2. So there is a point somewhere here, okay, or somewhere down here. So G sol again uh, when uh, X is equal to uh, 2, am I right, or negative, um, what's, which are the points, I keep forgetting the points, 4, negative 2 and 4, yeah, so G sol when X is equal to 4, okay, when X is 4, it's somewhere underneath here, so yeah, at these two points, your gradient is 2, 